When construction began on the Washington Monument in 1848, the plans called for a flat-topped obelisk surrounded by an elaborate multi-column building housing statues of Revolutionary War heroes. Commanding the roof of the colonnade would be a huge statue of the father of our country clad in a toga and riding a chariot. Only the lower section of the obelisk was completed, however, before scandal and internal bickering plunged the monument's private sponsoring organization into bankruptcy. Construction ground to a halt, and for over 20 years, the monument stood unfinished, ringed by cattle pens, storage sheds, and broken stones. Finally, Congress asked the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to finish the job. The Corps had already helped plan and build Washington, D.C.'s public buildings and transportation system, so the agency was well suited to the challenges posed by the partially built monument. Discovering serious structural problems with the original plans, Army engineers redesigned the monument as a more simple yet impressively elegant Egyptian-style obelisk with a pointed pyramidal tip. Completed in record time, the Washington Monument opened its doors to the public in 1885. For the nearly one million visitors who tour the monument each year, a slight color change in the marble 152 feet up the obelisk provides a lasting reminder of where the original construction faltered and the Corps of Engineers' contribution began.